This is only day two of Minion pulling a wagon, and I'm shocked how well he's taken to it. We have about 40 minutes of training with it total between the two days. I think he's tapping into his working dog genetics from many generations ago. Now that he's used to the wagon, we can do stuff. Sit. Good boy. I just love how he looks in the wagon every time he drops a piece to see if it made it in. Good boy. Oh, go cool, minion. Get another one. Get another one. Okay. Come here. Good boy. Oh, so good. Here, another one. Get another one. It makes him so happy to have a task to complete, especially when he has to think through almost every part of it. Good boy. You just know he's getting job satisfaction out of it. Put it in here. In here. Good. In here. Oh, so close. That was so close. What a good boy. What a good boy. Good boy. Oh, so good. Under. Oh boy. Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Minion's 10 years old and learning constantly. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Back. Yes, good. Now we gotta get that fire in the wood stove and Minion knows all about that too. He's done this before. He noticed he was losing the piece of firewood, so he readjusted his grip, walked around all the junk I have everywhere, and jumped right into the camper. Next, he's going for the big piece. He was having trouble with his grip on this one too, but he knew he could do it. Once he got to the big step though, that was a little difficult. You can see in his face he wants to make the jump, but realizes he can't. He tried readjusting his grip without dropping it, but that wasn't working out. Drop it. Carry. Yes, yes, good. He's thinking ahead and picking it up in the middle. Thank you. Thank you. Carry. Had trouble reaching the last piece, so he had to jump into the wheelbarrow. Then he almost sent it down the hill. The stove stacked perfectly for a cooler night. Thanks, Minion. Now we'll be warm tonight when the temps drop.